Hi everyone! Today's episode is called What's in My Camera Bag? I thought that it might be fun to share with you the cameras that I use um, for my work. I have several film cameras and uh, digital and different lenses that I love, so I will share those with you today. So first I'm going to start out with my Canon 5D. This is uh, probably my most used camera and most versatile camera for uh, so many things. I just absolutely love it and you know having learned photography on film um, it kind of surprises me how much I love this but anyway I use mostly my 50 especially for portrait work. Um, I like the 50 because it doesn't distort people and make people's arms and legs look bigger and things of that nature so uh, I love the 50 and I love to um, photograph wide open. So that is my Canon and my other lens for my Canon. Uh, absolutely love the 16 to 35. Um, have done so much work with this uh, and what I love about it um, of course is the the width of it um, and I also like to use it if I'm ever doing a, um, a self-portrait uh, for a project um, it's easier to have focus with this lens. Uh, this is my newest lens that I got a, about a year ago it's a Petzval 58 and I absolutely love this lens it um, it gives you that blur and that swirly bokeh uh, that people uh, love and um, it's, it's lamography is what they call it. Uh, very much love this lens. So this is my digital bag. bag. Uh, and this is my Hasselblad. Um, I, this camera is very near and dear to my heart. This, this camera my husband bought for me after our first child was born who is now 23 um, and this is sort of what started my photography business he bought me this for Christmas and uh, within uh, within a couple of years I had my portrait business started with this camera it shoots uh, medium format film which is I have lots of it here and um, I just, I absolutely love the quality of the Hasselblad and the lenses and uh, the look of the film with this so much. I got my, uh, my 85 uh, that goes on here and um, love that lens. I probably use that the most, but then I also have my 150, which has been a great portrait lens for me over the years. Uh, and this is an extension tube um, that I used to put on and it would allow me to get really, really close to something um, and to be able to focus. Um, in my portrait business, I used to use it um, just to get like extreme face close-ups, which were really beautiful. Um, so this is my Hasselblad bag. Oh, this beautiful strap my daughter Emily made for me, custom. She sewed it custom to the Hasselblad strap. So another reason why it will always be a part of my bag. Let's see, this is Betsy, and she is a Graflex Super D, and she's from the 1940s. And uh, oh, I absolutely love this camera. This camera, I mean, it's it it was created so that you could you could hand hold and shoot large format. Um, however, I don't find it that easy to hand hold it, so I have to put it on a tripod and use it because I've got to focus on the ground glass um, and get sharp focus. But um, this camera, I've done so many projects with this camera and um, I'll flash some pictures of, of, of those projects um, in a minute. But uh, I just love this camera so much. It has a, um, a curtain inside um, that 
that flips depending on uh, it kind of tells you uh, what your uh, what your shutter speed is based on what you have this set at. So it's it, it was a little bit of a learning curve to learn how to use this. Um, but now that I know how, it's so easy and I've shot so much film through it. And this is the film. So it's 4 by 5 sheet film, which in another episode we will be doing a shoot with this and I'll be showing you how to develop this. So that is Betsy. I mean, there's not a whole lot to her just her film and um, my light meter which I use with film and then my glasses my heavy reading glasses that I have to use to focus the ground glass so that is Betsy's bag next here I just love this little camera um, I got this camera about six years ago it's a Fuji X100 and it really does, it looks like an old film camera. This is one of my dad's camera straps from uh, a long, long time ago. Um, and it shoots digital, of course it's digital, and uh, it takes really great photos. And I love to take it on vacations um, just because it's really lightweight and it's easy to, to take around in different places where I maybe don't want to bring my, my other cameras. Um, this is my little bag that I keep it in. <laughs> and this is the first camera that I did underwater with. Um, I just bought this really inexpensive uh, case, which of course, you know, it was very hard to trust this, <laughs> but it never leaked on me. Um, but it was really difficult to, to even push the button. It was just one of those things where it was, I was desperate to do underwater and, and it worked for me um, at that time. So uh, later on, I, I get a real uh, camera housing. But, so this is the Fuji X100. If I had to claim a favorite camera of all time, it would be my Roloflex twin lens. I just love this camera. My dad gave me this camera uh, when I went to photography college in Daytona. And this is what I photographed pretty much all through school. And, um, there's just nothing like this lens. I just, I can't even explain it. I've, I've taken some of my most favorite photographs with this camera and I will flash a few of those up. Um, but I love my Roloflex twin lens and it takes uh, 120 film, just like the Hasselblad. This one has a little problem with the back and I have to be really careful. Uh, it kind of wants to come off when I go to open it. But once I'm using it, she works just fine. So uh, this is uh, Rolly. I call her Rolly. This is the scuba suit for my Canon 5D. Um, I knew that I really wanted to get into photographing underwater. And um, when you have a, a 5D, you really, you know, you really don't want to mess around with uh, in, in one of those inexpensive bags. Um, and so my husband, my wonderful husband, he got me this, wow, it's got stuff on it from being underwater. Uh, he got me this for Christmas uh, a few years ago. It was two or three years ago. And oh my goodness, this thing is amazing. And it, it holds my camera perfectly. Um, it's been a little tricky setting up the buttons and things like that. So I'll be honest, I, I just, kind of knew what the exposure would be and I just left it alone and just uh, hit the trigger button. Uh, so that is that part. This part goes on the front. This is the this is the beautiful glass that uh, that I photographed through and I have to keep this in a special case and I have to um, before I use it, lubricate all the joints and everything to make sure that it doesn't leak. Um, and I've got this little pressure tester gauge here that tells me that it's not leaking. I, I hook it up and I uh, wait a couple of hours. And if it shows that it's got the same pressure, then I'm good to go. So um, I thought I had a name for this, but I can't really recall it at the moment. So, but this is an Icolite. Um, in case any of you are wondering, and it's for my 5D. Okay, I saved the best for last. Um, 
Well, yeah, she, she looks the best, certainly. Uh, this is Sally, and this is my, she's got dust on her because I've had her sitting out here on the tripod, hoping that I will use her. Um, she is an eight by 10 view camera, and um, I have had this camera for, oh, a few years now, and I'm gonna be honest, I've only photographed with her twice. So the reason I have it out is because, you know, it, it's a little bit cumbersome to get out and put away. Um, so I would prefer to leave it out so that um, I can be inspired to use it, which I have plans very soon. Um, but I ordered Sally from Ghibellini's Folding Cameras. He's in Italy and I saw this color bellows and I just fell in love with it. And at the time I was looking for a larger format camera. And so uh, I'm very excited to use this more and more. And I do have a picture that I got of Sarah with this that I'll put up um, in just a second. So this is Sally, and that is the uh, conclusion of my camera bag. Um, these are the cameras that I tend to use the most, um, and uh, hopefully this one more. So that'll be coming up. That would be fun to do a shoot with this and then develop this film because it, everything is just a little bit bigger. Uh, so I will see you soon.